Good afternoon, friends. Today we will talk about the most relevant events in the world. The world today. Russian Defense Ministry shows Ukrainian okay. Army's West made hardware destroyed in special op. Russian forces eliminate about 60 Ukrainian troops in Krasny Lyman area. Russian forces repulse all okay. Ukrainian attacks in Zaporizhia area of top brass. Donetsk rocked by three blasts. And so okay. let's get started. Three explosions ripped through downtown Donetsk on Saturday, TASS reported from the scene. The emergency services explained that the air defense system was operating. The air defense system has done its work, the spokesperson said. Donetsk Mayor Alexei Kalemzin said that the area of the Kalmyus River was hit, according to preliminary information. The Ukrainian armed forces made several attempts to advance in the Zaporizhia area in the past 24 hours, but all their attacks were repelled by Russian troops. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Lt. Gen. Igor Konoshenkov reported on Saturday. According to Konoshenkov, over the past 24 hours, two enemy attacks, carried out by up to a battalion reinforced with tanks, were repulsed near Yablonovoy and Novopokrovka in the Zaporizhia region. Two columns of enemy armored vehicles were hit near Novodonovka and Malayatokmachka in the Zaporizhia region. At the Vermevka protrusion, the enemy mounted three failed attacks, each with the force of up to a motorized infantry company, in the areas of Levidnoi in the Zaporizhia region, Storizivoy and Neskuchnoi in the Donetsk People's Republic. Battle Group East Unit's courageous and decisive actions repelled all the enemy attacks, Konoshenkov said. Russian forces neutralized an enemy subversive and reconnaissance group and destroyed up to 60 Ukrainian troops in the Krasny Lyman area and an ammo depot in the Lugansk People's Republic over. The past 24 hours, Defense Ministry spokesman Lt. Gen. Igor Konoshenkov reported on Saturday. A Ukrainian subversive and reconnaissance group was eliminated near Chervenaya Dibrova in the Lugansk People's Republic. Over the past 24 hours, the enemy losses amounted to over 60 Ukrainian personnel, an infantry fighting vehicle, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles, CRAB, Gvostika and Akitsia self-propelled artillery systems, as well as a D-20 howitzer, Konoshenkov said. According to the general, Battle Group Center's aircraft and artillery hit enemy units near Yampolovka in the Donetsk People's Republic, Nevskoy and Belogorovka in the LPR, as well as in the Serebryansky forestry area. An ammunition depot of the 66th Mechanized Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces was destroyed near Petrovskoy in the Lugansk People's Republic, he added. The Russian Defense Ministry released on Saturday footage showing the military hardware provided by Western countries to the Ukrainian military that was destroyed in the southern Donetsk area. The aerial footage shows badly damaged armored vehicles, including a Leopard tank and Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. Russian Defense Ministry spokesman Lt. Gen. Igor Konoshenkov reported earlier on Saturday that in the past 24 hours, the Ukrainian army had lost nine tanks, including four Leopards. 11 infantry fighting vehicles, including 5 US-made Bradley IFVs, 14 armored combat vehicles and 6 motor vehicles in the southern Donetsk and Zaporizhia areas, 